in Evolve, visitors interact with virtual creatures which swim in the water-filled glass pool. They create the creatures before on a touch screen and interact with them afterwards in the pool. The creatures themselves have their own lives. They um, evolve, they can mate, they can kill each other. And uh, they're sort of artificial life creatures which are open to an outside influence but still have their own life and their own uh, rules and their own laws inside and uh, interact between each other as well. Um, so the basic concept of Evolve was to create an artificial life environment uh, which is open to an uh, outside influence, uh, which is open to the interaction with people and has also this um, entertaining um, uh, effect on the visitors. Each creature uh, gets created by the visitors. The visitors create the forms on the touch screen. They create a two-dimensional form, which is a shape and a profile. And this uh, two-dimensional drawing gets automatically transferred in a three-dimensional creature. And this three-dimensional creature now swims in the water of the pool. And you can interact with it by touching it, by putting your hand in the water and trying to bring two forms together. And uh, you can sort of push them together or influence their behavior by stopping one of them. So if you uh, touch one of the creatures in the middle, it will uh, freeze, it will uh, stop to move. Whereas uh, when you touch it more behind, it will uh, sort of push the form forward. And um, like this, you can influence uh, whether one gets killed or not by protecting it. Uh, so let's say one predator is um, is aggressing a prey, then you can stop the uh, predator and like this the prey can escape. I was interested to, to implement uh, genetic into this work to so, somehow escape to my own uh, uh, design or my own wish to, to to build something special, but to, to let uh, finally the opportunity for the, the work to evolve by itself or to, to change this aspect.